Welcome back to another reaction video. If you don't know who I am, my name is Lena. I'm a haircutting specialist. You can find me on Instagram at Lena's Makeup and Hair. Everything will be linked below. Let's take a look at this new video. I chopped off 12 inches of hair to look like Kylie Jenner. Why? Kylie Jenner's hair is not real, okay? She always wears wigs, guys. So don't go chopping your hair to look like Kylie when Kylie doesn't even look like Kylie. My hair is very important to me now because I've worked so hard to get it to this length that I'm actually really scared to get it cut. All right, here we go. Oh my God. She looks terrified. My name is Emma, I'm 20 years old and I'm getting the Kylie Jenner inspired bob. I was born and raised in Colorado. I think she'd look great in a bob. To Los Angeles two years ago to become an actor. Now I'm Peruvian and I've got that thick Peruvian hair. I either just put it in a bun or I keep it down. I want to cut my hair because I'm sick and tired of looking like every other girl my age. Within my friend group, there's three of us that look exactly alike with long brown hair and I don't want to look like that anymore. Ooh. I'm most nervous that my short hair will make me uncastable. It seems like every casting call that I see, it's long, dark-haired girl, but there has to be something for girls with short hair. My name is Melanie, and I am a cutting specialist here at Spoken Will. Emma has oodles and oodles of hair, so she decided at the last minute that we wanted to donate her hair since it is virgin hair. So once we sectioned her off, we braided it up. All right. Okay. I love that she's doing a bob. I love it. I love that she's cutting her hair. I really do believe that sometimes we just have too much hair. We don't need long hair, okay? Like there's a thing with society that loves to tell girls that they need long hair. We need long hair. Uh, do you know how hard and tiring long hair can be? It's so much maintenance. So short hair is always great. I love short hair. Thick, short hair. That's a completely different story. And that's because when you do a bob on thick hair, whoo, it's the margin for error is massive. It's so difficult. It really takes um, a master or someone who's extremely detailed to figure out how to have the bob sit at the right level when you have such such thick hair so there are a lot of stylists i've seen don't know how to do that and they will go in with texture shears and just thin out the t a ton of hair because they don't know how to do a clean bob i have to say i'm not the strongest in bobs i'm very strong with texture but it would take me like two hours to do her bob and sometimes clients will tell me that their hair actually takes two hours to cut because it's so thick and there's so many different factors. I love that she has virgin hair, but there's also the factor of like her hair growth and how she's going to wear her hair. It's probably gonna be very straight, but if she wants texture, that's gonna be different. We don't know the texture of her hair too. It does look like it's wavy, but once you cut it short, it's gonna bounce up. So there's so many factors with this. I'm a little bit scared. Let's okay, see. I'm gonna chop you. Are you ready? Let's just do it. Yeah? It's hitting you? It's happening? <laughs> yeah, just do it before I regret it. Okay. You're not going to regret this. Oh, my God. Those are some sharp oh shears. Woo! Eee! I love so that weird. sound. It's so... Okay, she's gorgeous. Ah... Uh... She so already looks amazing. We're gonna smooth this out and we're gonna refine the line. We'll give you a nice, clean, sharp bob. She looks great. Oh, I love it. I'm so excited. Oh, shit, what's I get? Oh, I know. You're gonna be like, wait, where's the rest of it? I would say skip conditioner. That's why I'm not conditioning your hair today. Conditioner is only gonna weigh you down. What? Okay, let's get you blow dry. No! Way down. I want something new. I've been a Kylie fan for years now. You can just tell how her I'm style confused. is constantly changing. Her hair, her clothes, her makeup. And it's just inspiring to me that she's so unafraid. To okay, wait. She's going to cut her hair dry? Wait, 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 wait. What? Make these huge changes. Oh, ha! Huh, see? Texture. Blow dried her hair. Yeah. Nice and smooth and straight, so I was able to refine the line. Oh. Nice, clean. So line. good. <gasps> so good. 
she has a lot of hair, so I had to take a lot of weight out to make it more balanced on her and sit nice and evenly. Yes, okay, so this is what I was talking about. A lot of uh, stylists will go in and just will go in with texture shears. Clearly, she knows what she's doing because she just cut her bob dry and it's thick hair. And I'm in shock because she did such a good job. She is doing a good job. I haven't seen the end yet. Let's take a look at what she, let's just rewind this real, real quick. Wow. Whoo, look at that. On her and sit nice and I just want to see the scissors that she's using right now. Take a lot of weight out. So the, the texture shoes that she's using are the rounded ones. Um, interesting. I don't have those. I have much chunkier ones. They're, they're more like chunkers than they are thinning shears. And her blade looks like it's a six and a half maybe. It's, it's much longer than mine. So when you cut, it's much more likely that you're going to get a straight line than if you had smaller shears where you go like tick, 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 tick. like you do these like little like nicks in the hair. That's why I don't like doing bobs. I think if I change my shears to like a seven inch it's gonna be so much easier for me to do bobs for, for now let's see to make it more balanced on her and sit nice and evenly okay can we just appreciate this line right here this is so nice my concern though is that she has wavy hair so i want to see this hair in its natural state a lot of times i'll tell my clients if you don't like your hair come back within a week and i'll fix it for you because the way she's gonna wear it is very different from the way that's gonna look when she leaves the salon i'm obsessed with this cut i love my hair so much oh that's it Oh, okay. So she didn't do a wet cut. She just cut it in four quadrants and then she cut, cut it across. And that was a br beautiful straight blunt line all the way. I mean, I couldn't see the back, but I wonder why she didn't do it wet. I mean, every, every stylist is different. And I wonder with the conditioner thing, I'm not sure what that's about. I was really scared at the beginning, but I love the end result. This hair is super chic. It's classy. It's different. Why does it look purple? It. Working with Emma was super fun. She actually kind of looks like Kylie. And she does. An amazing jawline and facial features. So this cut looks <gasps> really her. It suits her really well. So first thing I'm going to do when I step out of here is I'm going to video chat my mom because she's going to be so excited. And then after that, I'm going to go out with my friends and show off my new hair. It looks so good. It looks so good because she has such thick hair. The texture was really, really important. Uh, I don't know. I mean, this is a three minute video, so I'm pretty sure she did a lot more texturizing. She did a lot more, probably some point cutting in there. She probably spent a long time around her ears and the front because that's the hardest thing with the bob. It's easy to get the back straight. Like you can just cut a straight line in the back from like behind the ears. But once you come around the ears, everyone's ears is shaped different. So you you're really going to have to get super clean lines and you're gonna to have to get the client to sit in a certain way so that they're not like this the whole time otherwise the haircut is gonna be like long sometimes I'll notice things in my haircut after the client stands up so now I know that I just get the client to stand up and then I'll go in and like clean up under here because I'm only 5'2 so if they're a little bit taller it actually works for me where I kind of go like do, 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 and clean up around here there's always going to be hair sticking out especially with thick hair it takes a long time to cut a bob like this so this is incredible I would have even gone a little bit shorter on her I think it looks so good and because she parts in the middle it looks really cool that's it I wish there was a, a longer version of this video but I really enjoyed this let me know if you guys enjoyed this video in the comments below and if you guys have questions about your hair leave them in the comments if you like this channel please subscribe because i'm gonna keep doing hair videos i'll see you in the next video bye